Yes, it's me, Mike Stone, reporting to you live, or as live as it gets, from the Polish Aviation Museum here just outside Krakow, one of the oldest airfields in existence, founded in 1912. It was both a military and a public airport, uh, and now home to the uh, collection of old, rare and interesting aircraft, including some of those that used to belong to Hermann Goering. So we'll take a quick look round, inside and outside, and let's hope we get it done before the snow really starts coming down. We'll speak to you later. Well, is the Polish Aviation Museum worth visiting? Well, it is. It is. There's actually some very interesting aircraft here, including a Polish crop frayer that was also designed to carry passengers. So you can't complain that things weren't designed to do more than one thing. Uh, inside, in the hangars, etc., there's some fantastic planes. A lot of them look like they will fly can fly or it wouldn't take a lot to fly them again. Outside it's a bit of a graveyard. What's here is worth looking at like the MiGs etc but none of this lot will ever fly again. There's some very sad looking aircraft regrettably but they are part of aviation history and therefore worth looking at. It's just a shame that they need a bit of the spit and polish and uh, the grass mowing around them. But that aside it's well worth coming so if 
if you're near Krakow or in Krakow, do come and have a look. It's well worth coming to. As I said, there's some very interesting aircraft of all types and all ages, and especially the First World War aircraft. There's some fantastic aircraft, including the one, the only, Sop with Camel. And in the World War II section, you've got a Spitfire and an ME 109 sat glowering at each other. So, from me, Mike Stone, here at the Polish Aviation Museum, just outside Krakow. I'll be seeing you later. Be good.